Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom, and today we are getting into a brand new OMG doll. That's right, we have sketches here, and I am very excited to get into her box and see what she is all about. This doll just looks amazing, even from the box art right here. I mean, everything looks really, really cool. On the side here, you can see that we have sketches uh, running across the side. And on the back side, you can see we have Melrose and sketches here. I do have Melrose as well, so stay tuned for a video on her very, very soon. Uh, these are two BFFs here, and there is a little read up at the top here. If you wanna pause the video and read that for yourself, you can go ahead and do so. But they are sisters, and they slay all day, basically. So that's what that says. Uh, we also do have the little tot of uh, sketches right here on the side, the sister. And yeah, I mean, this is basically the new box style as many of you are used to seeing where we have the window that shows the doll so you can see the face and everything like that. I already see some product in here I'm not gonna be happy about, but that's a whole nother story that we will get into later on in the video. But that being said, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. There's so much fun stuff happening here. We just hit 10,000 subscribers and I'm super, super thankful for all of you out there for making that happen. And also if you don't, follow me on Instagram because there's a big giveaway happening on Instagram. So be sure to click the link down in the description below uh, to go ahead and check that out. But without any further delay, let me get sketches out of the box and we'll take a look at everything she has to offer and I'll tell you what I think. Real quick, I got her out of the main outer packaging and I wanted to show you everything um, that's kind of inside of here. And we do have some surprises underneath this little area right here. You can see the entire doll though. And then you can see that we have um, some garment bags up here at the top as well. So let's go ahead and bust into this together because this is like more of an experience kind of thing. Looks like we do have a little bit of tape holding this thing shut right here, cut that open, and then bust inside of here and see, look at all of those garment bags. There's one, two, or sorry, all of these bags. There's one, two, three, and a bunch of other stuff. So that being said, now I'm going to get all this stuff out of the box. We do have a cute little um, like brick wall backdrop here and a little uh, paint splatter floor, as you can see as well. Very, very cute stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead, get all this out of the box, set her down on the table, we'll open the surprises, and I'll tell you what I think again. <laughs> all right, so I have everything laid out on the table here, but real quick, we're gonna take our girl sketches and set her off to the side so we can check out everything else that came in the box, the first of which being the stand. I know everybody loves the stand, right? Uh, this is the OMG stand. Uh, we do have some waist clips down here on the bottom and we have the back support piece right here as well, which just clips in and then you have your little support pieces here. Boom, waist clip, we're done. It's just a stand. Um, we also do have our OMG brush. Uh, not as fun to collect as rainbow high brushes, but um, or rainbow high combs, I should say. But it is nice and pink and vibrant because Sketches is all about color. Uh, we do also have a couple little things right here. We have a little poster that you can hang up in like your OMG house. And on the back it says, three rules on art. Use all the colors, make it personal, listen to your heart and not the critics. That is so true though. And then we have the little BFF journal right here, which you can open up and you can read all about sketches and the fact that she's a Virgo. So pretty cool, pretty cute, I dig it. Now we do have some surprise bags here. Um, we have three surprise bags and then we have our garment bag right here. And don't worry, we're gonna get sketches all done up in her stuff, but let's open up the first little bag right here, move the rest out of the way and see what comes inside of this bag. I have no idea. All right, looks like we have some accessories in here. We have a little pair of glasses first. A little pair of glasses, really cute. And further opening this tissue paper, it looks like we have a little necklace right here. And we also have a couple of very cute earrings. Um, so that's all that is in this little piece of tissue paper. Um, the next surprise bag that we have here, this is a bigger one. Let's see what's in here. 
We have, oh, we have the hat. Look at this cute little beret uh, right here. It's so cute. There's a long thread hanging from it for some reason. I need to clip that off. I don't know why <laughs> that's there, but there, we're good to go. We got the thread clipped off. This is very, very cute though. Um, and that is all that's in that big surprise bag. Now the final surprise bag, pretty cool colors actually. Let's go ahead and rip that open here. And we will find some more accessories. Okay, so doesn't look like we have any, anything else in there. But this cute little accessory is like a can of spray paint and it looks that it might open. Um, it looks to be a little purse and it also appears that we can open it up. Yes, we can, look at that. And it's got a bunch of little details on it, a couple little stickers in there like makeup, palettes and brushes and all of her art supplies are in this cute little spray paint can purse. Wow, I really like this. Um, this is probably the coolest thing that came with it. But I can't say that yet because we do have our final surprise right here, the garment bag. And let me just shimmy this out of here because I save the garment bags. I'm sure many of you out there do too. They're just, I don't know why. I don't even use them for anything. Why do I save these? Can somebody answer that question for me in the comments section? Um, inside of here, we have her little jacket. Look at that. That is a very cute little jacket with like paint splatter all over it. Um, we do also have this little hanger right here, which I will also save and do absolutely nothing with. Um, but that being said, looks like we have all of our surprises out of the box. And I think it's time to maybe get sketches done up in them. But real quick, I wanna show you uh, the outfit right here that she's wearing without any of the other added stuff going on, which does look very cute. I mean, it has a lot of sparkle to it and everything, and it's got a lot of cool colors. So she could be fine in just this outfit alone without adding on the jacket or the hat or anything like that. That being said, I'm gonna get her in her full fit and then we will take a look at everything. Actually, real quick, I did wanna also point out that this, uh, what she's wearing here is so cute. It has little holes for the thumbs on each side. So I just wanted to point that out before I put the jacket on and it's a little harder to see that. All right, so here we go with sketches and I have to say her glasses don't really want to stay around her head too well. Um, not a big deal though, cause we're going to start out anyway by checking out her face and look at how cute she is. Um, I really do dig her face, her eye color and everything. Uh, she does look to be pretty good to me in my opinion. Um, she does also have a little heart right there under her eye. Uh, she's just super adorable though. I mean, I think that all OMGs have kind of these like baby faces that just look really, really cute in my opinion. Now I will tell you that this hat right here, this beret does not like to stay on. I actually pinned it to her head uh, just to kind of get the dramatic effect of it being on her head there. But it does look very, very cute and I like it. So if you want it to stay on, you might wanna grab a couple of small pins and just pin it right through her little skull right there. Um, okay, so as far as the hair goes, it's kind of crunchy, but look at how beautiful the color is. Like look at all of these colors in here. It's such a beautiful hairstyle. I, I really do dig it. It matches her look so perfectly. And I checked all the rooting and everything seems fine. Obviously she's got a very full head of hair. Not really any problems there whatsoever. Um, but I think that she looks absolutely adorable. Like look at this. This is like one of my favorite OMGs in a while. Um, and I definitely like, and reserved when it comes to buying OMGs. Um, she does have a little extra dress underneath here. Now, um, I will go ahead and show you that in a little bit, but look at this jacket on her. It is absolutely adorable, and we just have all this cool artwork all over. Oh my goodness, it just looks so stinking cute in my opinion. Like ridiculously cute. Now, as I was saying, underneath that um, initial piece that came on her, she does have this dress as well, which goes all the way up to her arms right there. And 
it is absolutely cute. Like look at how shiny and sequency this is. Um, and then obviously this right here is a little bit see-through. Um, it's a little, little bit. So you can see those sparkles when you pull this down over the top of it. That's what gives it that glittery effect that I was talking about earlier. So I really do dig that there are multiple layers here. I mean, that was even a surprise in my opinion to me as far as like figuring out that that was underneath there. So yeah, as far as the outfit goes, I think that it is absolute fire. Um, she does have a really cute little like set of rings right here or brass knuckles or whatever you wanna call those. I don't, I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, but they look really cute. And then I have the necklace on her right here as well, which has kind of swung to the other direction. Um, and then her cute little earrings that we put in her ears. Everything here though is so great. And look at her shoes. Like, look at these things. So much detail here. Like, I, it, I'm i just impressed, honestly. I'm really impressed by this OMG doll because it definitely looks super cute. Uh, oh, look at that. We have some of that dress poking out from the side. Um, so you can cover that up or you can leave some of it exposed or you can take this whole thing off and have it in just that and the jacket. But I think that either way, they just, they both look super amazing. Well, let's go ahead and get her little purse on her so you can see kind of the full effect with that whole thing. Look at this spray paint can purse. Oh my goodness. Like this is the cutest thing ever. Whoever designed this doll is doing a really good job and I hope they get a raise because I really, really do like her so much. Um, but let's, let's, let's calm down a little bit because I'm getting a little worked up over here uh, in a good way about just how much I really do enjoy this doll. We need to talk about articulation. Everything here is the same as you would expect any other OMG doll. We have a ball joint in the head. Their arms can move all the way around full 360. Um, we do have an elbow joint and elbow swivel. And we have our wrist uh, right here, which has articulation and can also swivel all the way around. Um, now, as far as the legs go, um, we can spread them apart a little bit and they can kick forward about 90 degrees and kick back another 90 degrees back there. And then we do have the snap knee joint. So if we go all the way forward, that's one. Then we have the middle and then we have one back. And so that is how the knee joints are going. There's no torso or uh, ankle articulation here. But like I said, everything is what you would expect from any kind of OMG doll in any recent years. Um, but I do think that uh, Sketches is one of my favorite OMG dolls that has come out in a while because she just looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the hair. I, I love her clothes. Like I really do love everything about this doll and I am super duper happy. I'm gonna take one of those dolls back there down so that she has adequate space to shine because she is a paint splatter queen and we're just not going to deny that. So. Um, that being said, I really do dig her and I'd love to know what you think about sketches down in the comment section below as I try to balance her on this table, which is going to be near impossible because OMG shoes are very hard to balance. <laughs> Um, but that being said, I, I really do appreciate everybody's support here. It really means the world to me uh, that you guys just spend a little bit of time with me here as I open up dolls for you and try to mindlessly balance them while I'm doing an outro for a video, which isn't a very smart idea now that I think about it because it makes me just blab on and on about absolutely nothing. That being said, if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. Lots of fun stuff happening there. I mentioned something earlier, you wanna get in before that ends. Also, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified. Check all notifications and every time I post a video, boop, it'll come up to your phone and you can come down here and hang out with me for a little bit. So uh, I, I again, appreciate all the support. I cannot say it enough. Thank you, it means the world to me. Once again, this has been Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and I'll see you later. Bye.